Today we're going to learn about Brigitte in three minutes or less. Can we? I don't know, but we're sure going to try. The book is coming, and many people choose to venerate Brigitte at this time. Now, granted, what we know about Brigitte's earliest beginnings is very limited. What we do know is that she was a pre-Christian Irish goddess. She's a child of the Dagda. She is a triple goddess. Brigitte is associated with wisdom, poetry, healing protection, smithing, and domestic animals. The triple goddess is Bridget, and then Bridget the healer, and then Bridget the smith. Now, these three Bridgets might be three separate Bridgets or one Bridget broken down into three separate aspects. Bridget is one of the goddesses that remained in the way of a saint. She is now known as Saint Bridget. And pagans and Catholics alike celebrate in bulk, February 1st or Bridget's Feast Day. Bridget was given two oxen. We had Magfi and Magfemin. Bridget also possesses the king of the boars. It is said that these animals cry out when Ireland is under attack. It is traditional that on Bridget's Day, you would create a Bridget cross. You would create a Bridget doll. Honorings of milk and white flowers were also given to Brigid. Now, the cross could be four spokes or three spokes and was meant to resemble more of a wheel and less of a cross because the seasons are changing. And that is the point of Imbolc is that it's midway between winter and spring. And this is the time that you would put your seeds in. Any seeds you had in the home would now be planted so that you could have seedlings by the time it came to put them in the ground. In bulk means in the belly. And so that's what we're doing with the seeds. We're putting them in the belly. They're not quite ready to be born yet. The museum in Kildare has a collection of old Riggy crosses that have survived throughout the times. These are made traditionally with reeds, with long grasses, with rushes. And so were the Briggy dolls. You can make a Brigid cross with four spokes or three. You can also create them with sticks and just weaving the center together to hold the sticks together. Brigid dolls would also traditionally be made with reeds and rushes, and they're as different and varied as the people themselves that create them. Now, you want to hang your Brigid cross from the threshold of your home or from a rafter of your home if you have rafters. And you want to place your Brigid doll someplace where she's going to be warm and comfortable in a bed, in a chair. Offerings of milk are given. White flowers are given. I hope you had fun learning about Brigid today, and then I hope you enjoy making your own crosses and Brigid dolls. Happy in bulk.